There's another new miner in town, and it makes a lot of money if you had one right now. And it's it's, it's cheap. It's really cheap. We're talking over $10 a day, probably $13 a day in passive income for 400 bucks. At a glance, you'd say, why not? What's up? I'm Bosk. You're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I've been working hard to build out the Boss Coin mining farm. And if I've learned anything along the way, it's that mining is never as profitable as it seems. But with patience and proper research, it can absolutely be a lucrative endeavor. So let's dig deeper into the Ice River, RX Zero, and a couple other surprise miner releases today. Check it out, Ice River RXD RX0. Ice River has gone from being a, where did this company even come from, miner manufacturer, right? Producing just Casper miners, and trust me, they produced as many different models, variations that they possibly could to maximize how much money they made. Not you, them. Hello, I like money. Then they pivoted to ALF mining with their AL0 release. And, and not even a month later, we got the RX Zero mining rig for hundred bucks, right? It's a pretty reasonable price point. It's projected to make over $13 a day. Okay. Well, these sold out quick. I asked Ice River about it. Cause I was like, Hey, can you guys send me one to review? Right? Cause we've got the boss Coin YouTube channel, blah, blah, whatever. They said, uh, no, they sold out so fast. Uh, we weren't even expecting it. And I said, all right then. Uh, so we've got one on order anyway to get it into review uh, You know we get some stuff to review we buy some miners whatever we've talked about it all before everything's always uh, You know full disclosure and transparency here uh, So I've got one on the way from coin mining central and uh, I'm excited about that We're an affiliate with them and we've got a coupon code uh, down below uh, we're also an affiliate with ASIC Marketplace. Uh, they're selling that as well as uh, the Dragon Ball miners we're going to be talking about here in a little bit. Again, affiliate um, with them in particular. If you use our code and don't use our link, we get no credit. So uh, that really sucks. Uh, at a glance, right, these Radiant miners look really profitable. But people need to spend more time researching. I don't know how else to say it, right? And uh, on that note, let me tell you something. It's called an ASIC miner. It's an application-specific integrated circuit miner. It's a purpose-built machine. They normally only mine one mining algorithm. But look at the weirdness of this A11, okay? This is boasting simultaneous dual mining this is their official website i've never ordered directly from dragon ball if you go over there and order and it goes poorly too bad right these manufacturers don't care about you and customer service is not their priority they show up today they'll be gone tomorrow understand that be advised be aware simultaneous dual mining uh, so it's supposed to mine ALF and radiant at the same time so we haven't seen simultaneous dual mining asic miners uh, in, in quite a while, if really ever, we've seen at best multi-algo devices normally. Uh, so Radiant's putting out a quarter Bitcoin per day in newly mined coins. And just let me put that into perspective. It's not much. Okay, it's not very much. Let's look at emissions, right? We see these emissions. Bitcoin, 25 million, right? We scroll down the list. It looks like they're not tracking ALF right now. They were tracking ALF, uh, but let's see. Okay, it's not here for some reason. What about RxD? Radiant. So that's not here as well. These things not being in these research tools make it just that much more difficult, right? We look at a mission here on Mining Pool Stats Stream. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I'll weave it together here, I promise. We do see Radiant's tracked over here, 14,000 new dollars. You understand $14,000, right? So let's take $14,000. And if there were no miners on the network, right? And we had all these miners that were mining about 13 bucks a day. They could manufacture 1,076 of these, right? But there's other minor models coming into the equation. So if they, if they literally sold, right, 1,000 miners, they would be the whole network as it is, right? So, so let's say they sell 2,000 and they were the only devices out there. You would make half as much money if nothing else changed. But Radiant is enjoying the ASIC pump. It's a thing, right? So since these have come out, 
They've been announced. They've had very serious price appreciation. That they have doubled, almost tripled in price over the last couple months. But when you zoom out over a year, this price action is nothing they haven't done before. But what they have not done before is had this much volume consistently, as well as this insane volume day that is an all-time high in volume for this cryptocurrency outside of May 2023, where they hit their all-time high. Why? This is the most activity this coin has seen since then, by far. It's down 80% from its all-time high that it hit in that period, at the top of the chart right there. It's up 600% from its all-time low, predating that period. It's the 960th biggest cryptocurrency in rank by coin market cap. To be honest, it's got plenty of volume. Granted, the exchanges they're on aren't exactly all that. These are bottom tier exchanges. The worst of all of these though is Trade Ogre, who are actively scamming many traders that say things are all fine and dandy in their exchange and you still can't withdraw your CASPA. Be advised. They've actually messaged me to remove my negative reviews and I messaged them to remove my coins from their exchange to my wallet. Still waiting, still waiting. Here's the deal though, these are all crappy exchanges, Mexi being the best of the worst probably. I mean, what kind of name is X Eggy X? It looks like, like, like what you would make your Hotmail like 20 years ago. But yeah, let's bring it back to the miner, right? 260 gigahash a second mining this specific mining algorithm. These devices don't have any sort of dual mining capability, especially as of yet, probably ever, that's gonna be rooted in the, chip, the chip design, unlikely to be some sort of firmware update you get later on. 100 watts, basically freaking nothing, right? Depending on your electricity rate, that's gonna cost you, what, 20 cents a day? Right, if that. The A11 Dragon Ball Dual Miner, and, and don't get me wrong, the, these miners, they're not that great. They're, they're not super user friendly. I don't even know if they have a web dashboard yet. Their previous uh, cast miners did not. The average small scale miner is not gonna like or enjoy that. Watch the Dragon Ball video to understand fully what I'm talking about, but you need an additional software to just access this thing. You can't just punch in the IP address. It, I would not classify it as easy. It's intermediate level. So the A11 does Radiant at 3 terahash second and ALF at 1.1 terahash second at 2,300 watts here. Uh, so let's look at that device, right, for $9,600. Um, 3 terahash a second, right, so that would be 3,000 gigahash a second and divided by 400 would be 7.5. So if we had 7.5 Ice River RX zeros, we would have that equivalent hash rate. And depending on what you buy that for between 400 to $600, or we'll just say 600, that would cost you $4,500. And you would be consuming, um, you know, seven, 800 watts uh, to be able to do that. All right, so we could double that and we would still be under this price point at $9,000. And we would have twice the radiant hash rate and we still would be under that total power consumption. No, we would not be dual mining ALF, but with how many miners are coming out for ALF mining, I don't think you really want that or care necessarily. You don't wanna pay a premium for that. Let me put that into perspective for you. Uh, Gold Shell AL Box 2, uh, which is a, a relatively new ALF miner that was costing thousands of dollars is already only making $3.46 a day after the electricity bill for me you know i'm clearing a little bit over three bucks uh that's that's not that exciting uh right because three times 365 which would be over the next year it would earn over one thousand uh, dollars i mean that's not even getting you to the break even point um these minor models are coming out faster than anyone can keep up with. The AL0, which was supposed to mine over 10 bucks a day, whatever, hopefully hit the doorsteps of the people who had like the batch one orders. I have a batch one AL0. It was making like five, six bucks a day for like a couple of days, if that. Uh, and it's already making like around $2 or less per day. Uh, that's not very exciting, especially considering how many other miners are out there coming to market. 
Uh, I, I feel like I'm a bit rushed or all over the place. I feel like I kind of say the same thing every day lately on content, but with a different coin, right? Caspa, Alf, Radiant. It's, it's just like, honestly, it's nauseating how fast these new minor models are coming out. And guess who still hasn't even released their minor model? Bitmain. And if you don't know, they're the biggest and baddest, most minor manufacturer for all coins in the world right now. And they kind of have been always forever, uh, you know, for what it's worth. I'm not a Bit, Bitmain fanboy. I actually dislike Bitmain. They've kind of treated me like crap over the years. But regardless, um, when they came out with their Alpha ASIC, right, it was best in class efficiency. Uh, so if they can make an Alpha ASIC and these things have, you know, what's more or less dual mining capabilities from no name manufacturers like Dragon Ball, you don't think that Bitmain is going to release a Radiant ASIC miner and you don't think that it's going to be better? It will. And they will. So if anything, I will maybe be looking at grabbing theirs when it comes out um, or I'll just dip my toe in right as I am with the RX Zero. Uh, but that that daily emission Thankfully, you know, what to mine's got some data there that we can use and mining pool stat stream has some data there. Uh, but you know, $14,000, it's just not very much. Uh, but this coin at a $20 million market cap, as far as crypto market caps go, could easily 10x, right? So we got a $200 million coin and it would be putting out $140,000 per day, making it one of the most profitable coins to mine in the world based on 24 hour emission. Right? If it had the market cap of Caspa, it would be crazy lucrative to be involved. And these miners would end up being one of the best buys in history. But what an ask, right? That, that is not the norm. That is the exception in performance. Uh, so I don't think that's going to happen. But I would like to, a little bit of exposure just in case it does, right? Uh, so yeah, Radiant is going to sound like every other crypto you've heard of, right? Peer-to-peer -peer asset, high solving high cost and stability and limited scaling of existing blockchains. Uh, so it's supposed to be flexible, touring complete, low fees. It's much like it's in the same category as like Caspa and ALF. I'm not saying that they are the same. They are utilizing different technologies for better and worse. Uh, but yeah, it's a platform blockchain. Uh, so there's pros and cons of that. I previously was a big fan of platform blockchains, uh, but I'm, I'm getting a bit exhausted with them, much like I'm very exhausted with layer two blockchains. Like we don't need the 10th version of uh, Arbitrum and Optimism, right? We, we, it's just, it's, it's, it's too much. We can only keep up with so many things. I do this all day, every day, and I'm exhausted. I can't imagine if you were in the cryptocurrency uh, sec like sector, like investing and stuff, and you know, you you work a full time job and, and have a family and maybe even a freaking hobby in addition to this stuff. Good for good luck. Uh, you better be subscribed because I try to do all this research and condense it into uh, you know five, ten, fifteen minute videos and some shorts here and there because that's apparently the thing now. But I'm not really much of a shorts guy. Crypto is so technical, it's so overwhelming. It's just uh, you just get very shallow content in shorts format. Uh, in this sector, but alas, here we are. Uh, so, hey, I'm Voskar on the Voskar on YouTube channel. This was the overview of the Ice River RX Zero. Uh, it really came and went very fast. They, of course, will be producing more. Um, at the price point and the returns, I mean, I think one is interesting. I think the Dragon Ball miners are much more risky uh, as far as like the dollarized amount, right? If I lose 400 bucks, I can recover from that. If I lose, if I have a bad $10,000 investment, it really hurts. You know, that can be very damaging. Um, and you know, that's the difference in, in these price points. Ice River quality is eh, right? Or what do they say, meh? But what they have focused on is that small miner factor. And I really do appreciate and respect that they're helping small miners stay in the game they are an absolute positive force towards decentralization unlike bitmain that produces the biggest and baddest and most powerful miners for the low price points of like thirty thousand dollars that's not helping decentralize uh decentralize anything uh so that's keeping mining in the hands of the rich and the few which is the exact opposite of peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency, one CPU, one vote. It's the exact opposite of what this was all supposed to be many years ago. So trying to keep the dream alive, that's cool. I respect that. They, of course, profit along the way. And I just hope we as miners can 
get some profitability here as well. So let's close it out with our CPO, our Chief Profitability Officer here at uh, VozCoin. Congratulations, Tails Voz. Uh, it's one of her additional uh, promotions this year. Uh, she's just absolutely killing it, at least in the cuteness category. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Ah.